What's poppin' tin? Alright, so this is just going to be the rules for the Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge. So just a quick read here. This was a Sims 4 challenge, but they converted it to the Sims 3. Which is good because we ain't playing Sims 4 out here. So, just to go down, they say they're still playtesting it, blah blah blah. There are some things that cannot be done because it's not Sims 4. But there's a lot more than can be done because it's Sims 3. Okay, so the general rules are complete the assigned aspiration and skill for each generation. Career is optional, right? So I was wondering about that. So I could I could give her a career in the chef world if she still wants that. Lilac, that is. Um, you can complete both if you're up to it because it's going to take a lot. And it does take a lot, which is usually why when I usually do gameplay, I usually have them max out skills first and then go into jobs or go all the way up to six or seven in skills and then go into jobs because then the job will just take care of the extra um, three levels that they would need and plus they level up in their jobs quicker pro tip if you have them do the skill before they enter the job obviously but yeah it makes everything faster anyways there are two cards associated with every generation. These may be used for genetics. Example, Berry and I think she meant Vanilla here. Or just clothes and house decor if that is your kind of thing. It's my kind of thing, so I gave her a little bit of the genetic stuff. You saw that in the creative sin, alright? Part of the rules for the original challenge that is um, debatable, meaning you can or can't do it, alright? You start each generation with a small house or apartment with a thousand simoleons, like I did with mine. If you want to make the challenge harder, you can start each generation on an empty lot with zero simoleons. So I gave her a few things that are actually... I used the money that she had left after she bought the house to uh, put a few things in, but then left about 900 left so that we could end up buying the fruits, vegetables needed to start her garden. So I took this halfway if you want to do this so your sim is not completely struggling where they have to like sleep on park benches and all that type of stuff do what i did which was get an empty house use the extra three to buy the essentials and leave a, a thousand for everything you're going to need afterwards okay so i used about two thousand to get the essentials all right okay Play on any lifespan, but short is not recommended. All right. For some generations, there are only three to four traits assigned. The rest will be up to you. So that means that for some of them, you can just, you know, add your own flair, but they all have some core traits. Now, this is for generation one, Daisy. White and yellow is a color pattern. The reason why I didn't just make the house completely white and yellow is because I just wanted it to be on her. I wanted the house to be more of a pastel color. Because I want, um, when the generation comes up, everybody can just be in there and there's like a piece of everybody's color in the house. Alright, so gardening has always been your passion. Owning a large healthy garden is all you've ever wanted in life. If your nails constantly have soil under them and you have so many broken pots you've lost count, it's okay. However, as with many things, gardening also requires a pretty good grasp of the technical, sciencey side of things. You find both to be rewarding best of both worlds right you sit and wonder what your family will grow to do and hope that they will flourish just as beautiful as your garden has this is the start of your family legacy so the aspiration is the perfect garden traits are eco-friendly clumsy loves the outdoors green thumb and loner as you saw i did all this career nothing just gardening forever meaning she gardens and she sells that gardening and science now you do science that you can have a plant sim. I forgot all about this, but apparently you're supposed to have a plant sim baby. I don't know if I'm going to stick to that. But you know what? Maybe I will stick to that. Let me stop. I'll stick to it. So I need to get her on the science. Try not to buy ingredients from the fridge or store often. Grow your own products. Grow a plant sim baby. Grow five perfect plants. Mary a sim who shares the loves outdoors trait. So this is what we're gonna do guys. This is what we're gonna be doing. This is the objective for these videos. Once we get the plants and babies and we'll go into gen 2 which will be buttercup. 
I just minded the, the baby buttercup because this is cute. Okay, it's cute. Okay. Anyways, guys, let's get back into the video. Okay, if you have any questions, ask them down below. Hey, guys. Woo! What's up? It's your favorite mystic, the Siren Sims. And we're back at again with another Sims 3 video. This is the first episode of our Sims in Boom Legacy Challenge. So I had actually started playing this before, but the issue was that I the settings were too high so all you could hear was the ambient noise in the background and not me um so what i think i'm gonna do and you might see in the beginning i'm probably just gonna use that footage for an intro you know an intro to lilac's life all right so this beautiful spectacle you see in front of you here is the home that i got from my girl cozy girl simo i even sent her this video so if you see it hey girl thank you so much Part of me did want her to, you know, um, furnish the place, but it's fine. Considering that I'm doing a little bit of a rags to riches type of story, tiny bit. She still has a little bit of money, but not that much. It's fine. So you can actually go over to her page, her Tumblr page that I will have down below. You can message her, ask her to make you like a custom starter home or some type of home. And if she has the time, she'll do it for you. And I didn't even tell her. The type of challenge i was doing but as you can see here right she literally made like a fenced off area here that's just like perfect for gardening so as you can see here i already have a bunch of stuff here loading up in the garden this first episode is going to be very short because i have a lot to do and a lot of mods to add into this game not a lot just two i think i'm going to add some recipe mods and i'm going to add in the super fast gardening mod because <laughs> we ain't got time but let me just show you my beautiful house it's so cute like oh i would live here yep i would live here so i need to move this tree because it's just in the way but yes as you guys saw in the creator sim video i'm playing with lilac jones you can find her in the description of that other video so you can download her because she is my prettiest sim like there is no doubt about it so lilac jones is going to be the founder how i am deciding to play her is that i am you know she's going to be the gardener that's a part of the sims that's going on right now and so i'm just excited to play her okay uh, she's already met a few people. I've even given her a job. Alright, she's actually like right in front of the grocery store. So the grocery store is like right here. This is the grocery store. Right? So she works at the grocery store as a producer assistant. Alright, as you can see, she's getting like $30 an hour. And so I think it would just be great for her to do that part time while she's working on everything. Um. There is necessarily a set job right now, so if there is, I'm going to check the instructions again. I'm going to read them and you guys will see it probably in the beginning. Um, if there is a set of instructions, I'll give her that job. But for right now, I'm going to start her out as a product quality assessor. And you know, that'll just be it for now. Um, Oh my god, all these men are getting babies. I'm gonna have to start thinking about like getting her skills underway and then having her meet some people. So we are in the beautiful world of Monte Vista. Alright, you guys know Monte Vista is my favorite world. And so we are in it, alright. Um, in terms of decorating, I didn't decorate much because I'm giving it a bit of racks to riches. She only had like a thousand dollars to her name. When she came into this house so i was only able to get her the bare essentials all right some place to sit down some place to sleep and a computer for a little bit extra this is the sang household low-key i want her to visit them because <laughs> let's see maybe we'll visit them if we if we like what we see over there you know we should visit them now you guys want to visit them I think we should visit them. <laughs> Give me one second. What's up, guys? We're back. And I decided to visit the Sang household, you know. It looks like they have a doctor here. I mean, considering we're doing a bit of rags to riches. She's clumsy, guys. So in case I didn't let you guys know, let's pause this for a second. Because there's always been going on in this game. 
all shades of the sims 4 now these are the traits that are needed so make sure you have university and make sure you have ambitions not sure why you need university right now but i know you need ambitions to have this trait so the first person needs to have a loner loves the outdoors clumsy eco-friendly green thumb um, i made a perfect i made a favorite color yellow for obvious reasons she likes sushi and custom music because i told y'all i have a plan for the custom music okay and so that'll be that <laughs> she wants to grow something yes mama she wants to also learn a cooking skill huh, we'll see Okay, who's gonna come out to meet us? The Sims in Monte Vista have such like pretty looks to them. You know, like they don't have the faces that people don't Woo like. Oh my yeah. god, yep. Yep. Okay, oh, you're all rude. up in his space. But he is huh? so cute. <laughs> Friendly Rose. introduction. <laughs> Please, friendly introduction. Whoa, did you see her fly away like that? What's happening? Why are you stuck on him like this? All right, go back here, ma'am. Go back here. He is insanely tired and now see if that fixed that interaction so yeah stop right there okay chan thinks um, little ac is okay ah oh, he's attracted to look this always happens i always get what i want in this game i'm being a little funny tell a funny story guys yes yes i know give me a moment if you hear her voice it's it's actually really cute and pretty um i'm gonna ask his age what is happening in front of me all right guys so what i'm gonna be doing with her i'm gonna have her make the perfect garden as is customary she just popped up out of nowhere Okay, he's a little bit older than her, but as he should be. Alright, so... I'm gonna save the game right here, and then I'll be right back. You lovely people. Ever eventful. Looks like there are some routing issues with the homes, because everybody just keeps flying to different sectors of the home. So, here is what's happening we have met this guy chang uh he seems to be married to this person who definitely was shooing me out of the room like stay away from my man um but they're attracted to each other and they went to the same school so i don't know let me know what you guys think do you think i should steal him from her i mean you know, we gonna go to fuck home. We gonna go to fuck home. We, we, we not gonna be rude. I'm not the type to just do dirty romance out of nowhere. Besides, I have a cute sim in my um, saves that I would love to drop here. I think to give him the appropriate traits. So anyways, I'll see you guys in a quick minute. Oh, good morning. It's a blissful morning in Monte Vista. Just wanted to show you guys this thing here. It says wasting water. A single drip won't waste much water, but many drips add up to a flood of water from the bath. You all know why she has this? Because she has the eco-friendly trait. Meaning the traits actually affect them positively or negatively with normal interactions throughout the day. So like a sim who has the eco-friendly trait can take a bath no problem, but a sim with the eco-friendly trait they're like nah i would prefer a shower and a quick one at that you know so it's just like little little things about this game that's just like so amazing so amazon so amazon so now it's the daytime you can see the house a little bit you can see this cute chair that i have just swinging here i wanted to convert this to a little library study thing but she ain't got the money for it yet 
Her job starts today at like 4 p.m. So she got some time to garden. I'm allowing her to spend a little bit of money right now because we haven't grown anything right now. But you guys have known because I said so that I love me a sim that cooks. I'm all about cooking sims, which is why I love Monte Vista. I'm, I'm a chef simmer. <laughs> is that a thing? A chef simmer? Well, I love sims who be cook chefing it up in the kitchen. It's just such cute animations and interactions. And when you're in Monte Vista and you have that oven, that that um that like kind of outdoor oven thing, it oh the interactions they make when they're making Italian food is so adorable. I love it so much. So right now it's kind of dull. Um I had to get out of the Seng house and you know make her take a nap and go to sleep and everything because um yeah his wife was not having it and i didn't feel like getting shooed out like that you know however let me know do you guys want me to add a random sim here and do a whole race for the clock to see if i can get him before a random town he does or would you want me to take mr sang and then just <laughs> you know what? i probably can't take him because i don't think he'll have the outdoors trait but if he does i'll see if we can call him get a few of his traits known and if we can, if we get to know him and it turns out there's a bunch of traits that he has that line up with what we need for our meons, then I'll give you guys a, a decision in a poll whether or not to make it be the sim I know or to make it be Mr. Sang. Oh good, she didn't burn anything. It's so cute. Oh, because she already has one skill. Yeah, so I played the game a little bit, guys. So that's why she didn't burn the game down or anything because I played it a little bit. For some reason, these chairs disappear for a few moments and then they kind of like raise above it. That, that's the thing about CC, guys. It's not going to be perfect. It really isn't. Um, but it's going to be so beautiful. 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 Just taking some screenshots. Don't mind me. But in any case... I think I'll give Mr. Singh a call this morning. See if we can chat it up just a little bit. Clean this up when you're finished. Then you can call him, you know, give him a little chat. I think this is his wife. Yeah, Vanna, she, huh, Vanna's a stranger, but she was, cause I kept wondering who can you stop me from talking to this man? His wife, as she should, as she should, sis, I ain't dying. I ain't mad at you. I get it. <laughs> I would stop a whole speaker to my man as well. So as you can see as well, we didn't have enough money to, for two sinks. So the dreaded washing dishes in the bathroom sink thing, it's necessary for this gameplay. Okay. I'm trying to make these segments as short as possible. So when I stitch them together or cut anything out, the video is not half an hour long. So guys, I'm trying. I'm not trying to make these videos too long for y'all. You can speak to him in the bathroom. Ah, turtle Look at her skin. Why is her skin so pretty? Her skin is so pretty. Griggle. Griggle Maka. Oh my god. I think I should invite him over so I can get to know his traits a little more. That way by the next episode we can discuss. You know what? After she's done with her plants, I might let her invite him over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to him. We'd love to see it. But see, look at the garden. The garden is gardening. Okay. Uh -huh. We have a lot to tend to right now. There is a bunch of plants out here. All right. She can talk to plants because she has a green thumb and everything. So just tend to the garden, Miss Ma'am. All right. Tend to the garden when you're done. Um, let's just speed this up a little bit. Because I highly doubt they're friendship is going up a little bit but not enough for me you're probably gonna have to invite him over but yes guys this is going to be so fun i'm going to be adhering to most of the rules you know let it go let it flow um she wants to join the culinary career so bad and you know how much i want to let you do that girl but it's not not the vibe right now 
take a class in gardening not right now you <laughs> all right I sh might have the mod where she's able to garden fast but I'm not sure let's just make her garden until her carpool gets here then I'll let her go to work then afterwards when we come back from work we will invite Mr. Sang over and see what his traits be looking like because you know what I had this chef guy in mind who's single to try out but um <laughs> Mr. Sang might have to do okay stop tending the garden ma'am it's your first day of work why do you have a carpool when you live right there hello baby girl oh why are you wearing your formal wear for your job okay that's not her actual formal wear thank god but that that doesn't make any sense my love all right business as usual work hard take it easy because it's a side hustle she can't really meet anybody hmm Uh, let's make her work hard a little bit. Then she can relieve the stress. Okay, so even though she's in a car, she feels good about carpooling, you know? Less cars on the street, less problems. So as you can see, and look at that, from replenishing the earth and gardening. So, you know, every nickel makes a muckle. That is a Jamaican saying. Um, <laughs> that is a Jamaican saying, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back when she's done, guys. Julie. Guys, oh my god. Chan is right here. He's right here. So she's not going home right now. Plus, she looks good anyways. There's a bunch of people here, actually. It's the grocery store, so they should be here. I think he's the mayor. Costanza Rosie. That's Kang Sen. That's Emma Perry. Whew, I almost thought it was his wife. I was worried for a moment. <laughs> um, but in any case, there are too many people here. That's why she's not approaching. Do you think that's so interesting? Oh. Here he is. Here is Bay. Come on. Let me talk to him. Yeah, they, that's a weird interaction. I don't like it. Show him a funny video. Girl! He just... Just, just, just go get him! Call him over! Great. Visit him now. We need to find out what's going on with him. Whoa. Not sure this is an actual look or if their hairs aren't loading. Oh, you running over to that married man's house, huh? I'm so sorry that everything's so laggy, guys. I didn't restart my computer before I started playing this game. Oh, plus somebody's a cop over here. We got coppers next door. Luckily, she black and white. <laughs> Let me <st> ah, <laughs> I don't like this house. I really don't like this house. She looks so good. I'm sorry, I don't care if your wife at home. We finna we finna dive into a conversation, okay? So what we're gonna do, because I know exactly. Ask him about his career. Okay, you need to just get to know him as fast as possible. Okay, I know you're all about gardening, but people don't always want to talk about that, ma'am. Get to know him. She's upset because there's lots of people here, which makes sense, but we're not going to focus on that. All of these people. Uh, 
Dumbledore! Uh, Robolacho. Uh, 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 is that Vanna? Ooh, Vanna is right here. She's gonna kick me out of this house. What are you doing, man? Vice Squad? Watch this about to happen. He's about to disappear because he needs to. Guys, this game is. <laughs> I can't bother. But yes, we're going to find out more about him. We'll see if we're compatible. We'll see everything that's going on. Um, for right now, Herg? What about the rats? Ah! Nigga, don't nobody care about your little problems. And she's clumsy, so every now and then when she walks, she'll stumble and all of that. That's also really cool. But yeah, guys, this I might be the end of the video. Who are you talking to? You see Vanna over here having a long distance conversation with her daughter? The routing is terrible. Okay, so they're not compatible. Keep that in mind when I put out the uh the poll. Okay, so he's a cop. I don't know why he's wearing a lab coat then. They're talking about justice and the law. This is so. Do you hear my girl's voice? It's giving deep and sultry. I did that on purpose. I made sure to like pick her voice very specific. You know, specific. Specific. <laughs> Yo. Okay, he's charismatic. Kind of sucks that that's the first thing we learned. But he doesn't really seem like the outdoorsy type either. Let's do get to know two more times and then I think I'll let her go home and garden and then we'll be about done with this part. So I know I didn't give you guys her backstory you know like who she is what she's doing and all of that so with Lily she you know she had it rough so she had to move you know her parents didn't approve of her wanting to be a gardener like they really weren't about it you know so she had to find a way to get it on her own she took a plane and traveled all the way to Monte Vista so that she could live out her dreams of you know having the perfect garden and just living that comfortable life you know that that mm, sort of life you know so she moved out here got an empty house you know there was a nice old lady who allowed her to rent it out so she got to rent it out right and then she just started her journey she doesn't really talk to her parents anymore obviously they didn't leave her anything she had a little job when she was at home and she was able to save up some money to get here when she got here but uh yeah like she's really been through it and all she wants right now is just to be happy you know and it sucks because she really isn't happy she's just really trying to fix her life you know and it's just been so so harsh you know what i mean so it's okay but for right now She's finding happiness in her plants. She found a little part-time job at the grocery store. She kind of wants to be a chef, but we'll just work on the plants and figure out the rest later. All right. As you can see, Chang, okay, will not stop trying to talk to her. Why is there an owl in my background? <laughs> I don't have pets installed, so I can't find no owls. But anyways, I'm going to ask her to come and tend to the garden but yeah that's her little backstory you know she was somebody who 
her parents wanted her to be a lawyer doctor indian chief but she just wanted to be a gardener you know yeah and that's what she's gonna do with her life she's gonna be a gardener you know and they can't say shit about it okay so we're gonna watch her on her journey you know we have a few objectives you know max out science skill and gardening skill and another skill we'll see what that is also have have a child that will go into the next legacy marry somebody with the outdoors trait and you know we'll go on from there so we're gonna see lily's life um dramatics will ensue trust me i'll just play it better next time don't worry i will play it much better next time but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video i really love and appreciate all of you and we're really here with it for real okay thank you guys so much for being here with me and please do enjoy your week okay i have a lot coming up this week i'm super excited and i'm excited for y'all to see what's going on as well okay anyways you have a wonderful rest of your evening goodbye simmer susu also uh cozy girl simmer you're a real one and i really appreciate you thank you so much for everything okay yeah yeah i know go eat mate <laughs> bye guys susu